Most people drive to get where they're going, but it's important to understand. Driving, whether it be off base or on base, is a privilege. Once you violate that privilege, more than likely you're going to lose that privilege. The most common violation is speeding, but a rising trend of distracted driving has caused problems too. If you're on any DOD installation, you will not use a cell phone unless you have a hands-free device. Say, by number, or by name. Disobeying traffic laws can lead to more than just a ticket. Base officials have the authority to take away on-base driving privileges, ranging anywhere from seven days to two years, and that extends to government-owned vehicles. If his job requires him or her to drive a GOV, it puts the unit, the group, and the wing at a disadvantage because now what they're going to have to do is rely on someone else to do that person's job. Airmen and service members are expected to know the rules of the road on their base and in their state. There's really no excuse for somebody violating the law because they know what it is. The signs are there to help them. If you abide by those laws and those signs, then you will have no problem. You won't get pulled over. From Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Tori Fleck.